Good morning. It's a Monday morning. My day off. Finally going to get some shooting done. I'm just testing out some reloads here. Um, a variety of bullets and powders. 168 grain TMKs. Um, those ones are 175 grain Sierra Match Kings. Uh, different powders, different powder charges. Kestrel, very basic Kestrel. It's like 60 bucks. Using my Remington 700 and 308, of course. I have my chronograph set up and 100 yard target. I will also be trying out um, a microphone kit I bought recently. Very simple from Amazon um, on the cheaper end, but it came in a set of two. So just letting you guys know, I'm walking just like 15 feet away. It's not very far. Um, my voice is obviously going away from it. I don't know if you can hear the very little wind that is picking up. Okay, I tried it earlier and did not pick up. Maybe because I plugged in the receiver while it was still in camera mode. But right now the microphone is attached to the bill of my cap. I would assume that the sound of my voice, the distance wise, is not changing. Even though I went up to my current graph about 15 feet away. Okay, I'm going to go check the target because I forgot where I wrote down which target is going to be for the 168 grain tipped match kings. Right now I can feel wind in my face right now. So maybe the microphone is dissipating the sound of that wind. So I don't know. I've seen on YouTube people walking... 300 feet. If it starts um, breaking out the voice chatter, I, I don't mind. I, I want it to work within 25 yards. So I'm at 100 yards now. Um, I will shoot at the middle there. I will shoot at the middle there for all of the tipped match kings. So today I'll be testing my audio microphones and some different reloads, especially one, my 175 grain Sierra Match King. It gained 100 feet per second for some odd reason. I'm thinking I overcharged it. That's why I'm getting way more than I should be. But we will see where these rounds are getting their velocities from. This morning, 70 degrees. Okay, I'm hoping that the audio is working. I'm going to put in a regular earplugs, the little foam earplugs. So I'm going to put this aside for now. These are loaded a little bit longer than my magazine lint. So, I doubt I'll be able to use them in my magazine at all. I can probably put one in there. Clutz. I don't want to damage that. <laughs> Let me make sure here. Yeah, I already made a burr right there. Way to go, dude. Oh, touch my microphone there. I have zero clue where that round went. Oh, you know why? Because I shot about 8, 16, 21 inches high. Because I was shooting at 700 yards a few days ago. Now we're at zero. 
Zero, zero. Blah! All right. Okay, I still have three rounds for this group. More like it. Eight o'clock, quarter inch. Nine o'clock, quarter inch. That's why we practice. Shake off that rust, man. I just need to pull my head out of my ass. Nine o'clock, quarter inch. I'm already liking the first group. The first group is just amazing. It's loaded longer than my magazine. I can't use my magazine. But... I could use this little um, shell holder here. A buddy of mine gave this to me also. Scott, thank you. Next one. Eight o'clock, quarter inch. Four o'clock, dead center. I cannot see the last one. <laughs> My rifle's falling apart. I think I need a new rifle. <laughs> Little bolt sticking 100 yards, 168 tip of the match king. There's my first group, nine o'clock, about quarter inch, half an inch. Second group, and there's my last group, went into 2700 feet per second. So I think I'll stick with between these two here. Four to one, two, probably. Oh man, this sucks. Okay, I just got done shooting 175 grain Sierra Match Kings with IMR 3031 powder in it. Got about 2,616 feet per second. Which with um, my rifle, the 175 Match Kings, is about normal. Also, trying out my audio again. My microphone is on my cap. I feel some wind in my face. And we'll see what it sounds like in audio. Should not be too disturbing like um, my previous videos. I fired eight shots at 100 yards. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can see two more somewhere in there. Just as I suspected, I overcharged in powder my previous loadings, which was why I was getting 27, 15, 27, 25 feet per second, when the normal is the low 2600s, 2615, 2625. And that's what I'm getting right now. Three in there, one on top. So, I did overcharge my powder by over a grain. That's why I was getting bolt sticking and it just felt uncomfortable. Shoot, it felt a little bit more odd. But this one looks pretty promising too. Four to one and a half. 1539, almost 100 feet per second slower, but I want the low 2600 feet per second is what I want. Okay, next one, 155, Lapua Sinars. Here's that one, 
my very first shot when I had 700 yard dope dialed in. I was aiming for this one right here. I was aiming for that and I couldn't find it. And I saw through the scope, it's way up here. So don't worry about that little guy. All right. The star of today's video is the 155 grain Wapua Sinars. They're loaded just below 2.8 inches, 2.795 inches with Vitivori in 140. The bullet and the powder are both again from my buddy Scott. Thank you, sir. I'm trying these out now. I have my air foam plugs in. These ones, well, I should put them in, right? But I'll have these in my ear. Wow, it's already at 2650 feet per second on my lowest charge. It does feel softer shooting, even though it's registering 2650 average for these two shots it's a smaller bullet 155 grains i'm usually shooting the the medium weights of 175 168 i would consider the heavies like 200 208 220s i believe <laughs> Okay, nine o'clock, about a half inch, a nice little cluster there. I can't find where the last shot is at. Ten o'clock, center. And it's soft shooting too. Maybe it's the the weight of the bullet, 155 grains, or could be the powder too. I'm not too experienced with um, the Vitivori line. Okay, I'm getting um heat mirage off the barrel. The crosshairs are fine, the, the picture is starting to get fuzzy, but then it clears up, then it gets fuzzy, clears up, it's um, the mirage off the barrel. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> One more shot and we'll leave it alone. That one opened up just a little. It's probably um, a little over an inch, maybe 1.1, 1.2 inches. But that one, the average was 26.98 feet per second. Standard deviation 12.3. So we'll let the barrel cool down. There it is. Um, one, two, three. That one kind of looks elongated. I'm thinking that's number four in there somewhere. This one, of course, that's from that 700 yard dope I had dialed in. And this one opened up just a little. A little over an inch, I would say. Letting the barrel cool down. We'll shoot these two down here. 155 grain Lapua Sinar with Vitivori in 140. Um, the velocity has kind of got me a little confused. I'm going higher than 42.2, 42.6, and 43 grains finally. It goes from 2698, it drops 2665. 
goes back up to 2690. This is not the fastest, or this is not the highest max charge. So I'll probably leave it there. And if it starts giving me issues, I'll, I'll see what I can do with that. What I do like about it is um, I can load it in my magazine. And I'll load up some more of these here. 168 grain tip to match kings. So I'll keep it at this one here, 41.1 grains. But all in all, all today's shooting was at 100 yards. Nothing too crazy. All right, I'm about to get all nerdy on you guys with this thing here, okay? So what I did is I measured out the smallest groups, the one I'm particularly interested in. Um, the first one I'll show you is the 175 grain Sear Match King match rifle. Um, 0.627 inches, less than one inch. I measured, I measured the outside to outside, and then subtract it 0 0.308 to get the center to center distance. So that's what it is. The 155 Lapua Sinars at 0.517 inches, and the smallest group was with the 168 green tipped match king with IMR 3031 with 0.447 inches center to center okay thank you for watching and sticking around if you're still here at the end just plugging holes at 100 yards getting some nerd statistics and using my chronograph 50 60 dollar kestrel Scope given to me by Scott, 155 green scenars given to me by Scott, Vitavori N140 given to me by Scott, <laughs> a lot of stuff given to me by Scott, and this one was recommended to, by him as well. These um, wee bad sandbags, and I need more practice with these here. He has a, um, a tank trap, and I, I like to borrow that from him sometime, and maybe sometime next week or so. But lately I've been busy with woodworking projects and stuff and regular work as well. Just keeping myself busy with the carpentry type stuff. I'm not a carpenter. I, I never went to school for that or anything. I don't have a certificate or anything. I don't want to take anything away from carpenters that earned that title. So I just call it woodworking. Anyway, all right. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully the audio testing has gone well, because right now it's a, it's a little breezy, and you can see the, the, the tarp is moving and stuff, so I'm getting good wind here. Um, not as bad as before, but, you know, it's, it's a start of testing. All right, thank you for watching.